Okay, I feel like this has been done to death, but um, this is uh, a redwood Sequoia Sempervirens. Flat foliage, you see the leaves along the stem, really very thick and squishy bark, and they get some cones. Not particularly large, but um, anyway, um, this is an ecological uh, a relic in a way. Uh, it actually is. Let me get off the hill. Um, it's generally grows within sight of the coast, from say central California all the way up to. Uh, the border and over to the other side into Oregon um, grown quite commonly as an ornamental uh, in the um, Pacific Northwest a number of them here in Oregon uh, Eugene specifically um, I got to get to the campus uh, but anyway uh, something that can withstand a lot of fire the bark is thick enough what's um, interesting fact it actually is a um, a six ploid, so it has um, three copies of its genome, and that uh, probably is one of the causes of it being evergreen. Uh, a lot of the relatives are actually deciduous, um, and that is what has allowed it to survive uh, through everything. So, this goes back to the dinosaurs and back uh, previous. Uh, before flowering plants. It's just an amazing tree. Uh, it does like uh, moisture. It does like uh, to absorb moisture and nutrients through its leaves. Uh, there's a lot of stuff about fungus uh, living in it. Um, ecosystems all galore on the um, in its canopy. This is not terribly old, but um, one, thing one thing people like to do about 100 years, well, 150 years ago was um, plant these all over the place and uh, I'm not arguing the point so um, anyway the coastal redwood Sempervirin means evergreen so and dare I say named after the uh, Cherokee who invented the uh, alphabet for the Cherokee language <laughs>